Um, you know, uh, I'm really concerned that uh, no one realizes the importance of protecting the marriage. Yeah. A lot of times people get involved in things that they just don't understand. Uh, come to find out way. Now, I was wanting to speak to Marilyn. Mm -hmm. And you're obstructing me from doing that. Yes. And I'd like to find out about the medical condition of my son, Benjamin mm. Bishop. Oh. And if you would remove your fraud, I'd like to know how his ankle is. Now, uh, the 1031 exchange, yeah, is an exchange of like kind property that is exempt from income tax uh, consequences. Yes. <laughs> tax free exchange, yeah. Something that we all like, yeah. You know, a lot of employees of the counties, they receive a pretty good wage, a salary. Yeah. And then they get a retirement. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then they find out about all the good properties to own in the county. Mm -hmm. So could you go through the actual property ownership of every employee, all 3.6 million of them? Yeah. That thought, well, you know, I have this good county job uh -huh, where I'm getting paid all this money. Yes. I have a retirement and health benefits. Mm -hmm. Is there any union representatives of any county employees anywhere in the United States of America? Mm -hmm. Could you find out who they are? Uh -huh. See, I may or may not be able to sue you for refusing yes, to uh, disclose the evidence of fraud waste, mismanagement, abuse, and corruption. Yeah. Yeah. But it's quite possible that I can sue your union. Yes. For refusing to obligate the disclosure of fraud, waste, abuse, mismanagement, and corruption. Mm. So you get me the pensions of the last 40 years of employees of the un of the uh, individual counties. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get me the employees of the unions right now because I will sue the individual unions. For any knowledge of the individuals employed in the counties, known as the elected oaths of office, yes, the attorneys that represent the counties, oh, as well as any of those that do have an obligation. Mm -hmm. Now, I was looking at the auditor's office. Yes, yes, yes. And it seems that the sheriff says that I'm the law and we don't have to enforce it. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. Give me the auditors that have this very special place. Yes. In each and every county where they can go directly to the attorney general of the individual states. Mm -hmm. And then I'd like to know the executive branch of Washington State, Governor Jay Inslee. Yes. Then there's Bob Ferguson. Too. <laughs> and that secretary of state that says, well, we're sorry, Paul. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to misprison all this malicious arrest. Yes. All these hate crimes, right, and the physical injury to your son, Bishop. <clears throat> now, I want the attorney generals of every state of the United States. You know, those that are the idiots of the executive branches of the United States of America. Yes. I'm going to really go after the auditors for refusing mm -hmm. to obligate the attorney generals right, to enforce the actual laws of the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, I just had a little look at this. Oh, oh, look at the blueprint, the red flags, the county fraud. Oh, 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 oh. Now, let's see here. County fraud uh, employees. All right. Now, I'm going to want custody of my sons. Yes. Do you understand that? Yeah. And uh, let's see here. Keep calm. You think you have discovered a fraud. Mm -hmm. I think I have. Ouch. Fines and fees in the county justice system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we were looking at the prison system. Yeah. And the uh, billions of dollars that seem to be missing because of some, mm, well, you couldn't account for it. Yes, yes, yes. But I thought that when you're charging seventy dollars a day for a jail fee, yes, or is it a fine, Judge Roy? And then you said, "Oh no, we were doing it wrong. That's not what state law allows for us to do." Yes, but just looking at this, um, there's uh, this idea of the privatization of the jails, Jefferson County, mm. and then there's the Clallam County Jail. Could you get me the jailers? Mm. Now, are you county employees or are you city employees when employed in the jail? <laughs> and do any of them have any knowledge of those 80 recorded phone calls? <laughs> do you remember when I was in jail? <laughs> have you seen the actual arrest record of myself? Yes. 
And then any fees or fines that I didn't have to pay. Yes. Because I was found not guilty of violating the protection order. Yes. When I was in custody of Guam and the victim mm -hmm. did not have the authority of the state of Washington to have it issued. <laughs> now, I'm sure that there are a lot of individuals in the jail. Yes. That are going to be very surprised at exactly what I'm going to do to you. Yes. Because I'm now wanting all the fees and fines. Ouch. And then the actual interest rate that you've been charging. Ooh. ooh. See, when it costs you $70 a day to stay in the Clallam County Jail. Yeah. And then you don't have that money so that you have to uh, make arrangements to pay a payment plan. Yes. And then you charge 12% a year or is it 8%? Or have you been making slight adjustments to the actual amounts that you've been crediting to the fees and fines of the individual jails? <laughs> now, I wouldn't mind uh, privatizing all the jails of the United States. <laughs> I think it's kind of an asset of the county. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know what? Why don't you do a quick calculation? Mm hmm of all the fees and fines and the actual interest that every county's been charging. Oh, and then tell me, have you really been screwing over some individuals that went to jail right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it's somewhat of a concern. Yes. That there's these, these, these personal vindictiveness of those that are in the police and sheriff's departments mm -hmm. that they arrest the person. They put them in the jail. Mm hmm. And there's some question whether or not they're guilty. Yes. But you still have to pay. Yes. That uh, fee. Oh, and fine. Ouch. And then you have to pay for the public defender that defended you. Yes. And all of this gets added to an account. Yes. We well, have to pay interest on it. Yes. And then if you don't pay on your fees and fines, then they can arrest you for failure to appear or failure to pay. <laughs> now, mm, County fraud employees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me look at this just for a second. Of all the jails in the United States that are privatized, yeah. Could you get me the ownership of it? And then I just, I, I just wanted to know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jefferson County. Yep. Yeah. When I went to jail for the arraignment of the accusation of violating the restraint provisions of the protection order. Mm -hmm that were originally issued in 2011 without the jurisdiction of the state of Washington. Yeah. That was reissued as a consequence of the malicious arrest that took place in 2012. Yeah. Mm. That was then modified because of my personal meeting with a pastor. Yes. Well, then it was reissued for two years because of the malicious service of the sheriff's department uh, when it was put in publication. Yeah. Then it was reissued because of the malicious service of serving me in the Squim Public Library. <laughs> exactly how much did all that cost? <laughs>